eager to play. It's been, like I said, it's been 10 days. Um, LeBron, Kai, uh, Kev, guys been itching to play against somebody. Uh, just play, period. So, uh, and we just came out with a, with a great pop. Uh, we did it last uh, series as well, so we just got to you know, keep that energy going. So with 12 straight playoff wins now, one shy of the uh, all-time record of 13. Does that kind of put it in context And what you guys have been doing? Um, no, not really. I mean, just the team across the way is doing the same thing. So it's not uh, the, way the, the way the league is going. Records are being broken every day, stuff like that. So you really can't get caught up in that. You just got to keep going. Uh, LeBron recently praised your kind of development to a three and player. Um, it was really kind of a secret behind that transformation. Um, being on a good team, I guess. Um, having the guys, the organization, and back you, uh, it's totally different from you know, the situation. Uh, so, I mean, I give my credit to my teammates. You've been in this situation before, you know, 1 0, and now expecting the team's best. What are you expecting to get into? Uh, I mean, for them to come out swinging, playing scrappy like they do. They've been playing like that all year. Um, whenever their backs up against the wall, they play. They tend to play better, just like we do. So, uh, just gotta expect that and understand. You know, there's gonna be it might be dirty plays, maybe cheap shots or whatever coming from the other side, just because they're fighting for their lives at this point. So, we just gotta, you know. Keep doing what we've been doing. Does that keep you from being overconfident, knowing that they can come out? And yeah, I mean, when you're playing against anybody, especially in this league, uh, you can't you can't get overconfident. I mean, we know that better than anybody. Um, whether you down three zero, whatever the case may be, um, you down, you down, and we just gotta you know keep you there until the clock says zero zero. LeBron scored at least thirty five in five games in a row. Do you? I mean, it's almost seem like that's normal now. I mean, you take uh, <laughs> Yes and no. I mean, it's pretty good. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to not uh, expect it because that's what he does. So, um, but you, I mean, at the same time, you, you have to understand you're watching greatness too. So, uh, it goes hand in hand. Like when he's on the rim constantly, frequently all night, and that must open up avenues for everybody on the floor. Yeah, like I mean, for, for one point, I mean, I think Kev had like four wide open threes in, in a row, pretty much. And it was like, I mean, whether to make it or miss, you just keep shooting because, I mean, nobody's contesting. Everybody's packing the paint and expecting us to drive. So, uh, him and Kai have been doing an unbelievable job of that. How do you guard against? Kind of a letdown, just because you you played so well and you beat him so handily uh, in game two. Uh, I mean, we just you got to watch film. Um, for one, we got to cut down Avery's back doors. So I mean, we, there's still things that we can work on and improve at, but um, you just got to stay, you know, stay the course. How well do you think you guys played overall tonight, comparatively speaking, to some of your other wins in the playoffs? We played pretty good. Um, it's not. I think I, I forgot what the biggest deficit was, but at 28, 28 yeah, and they still uh, still won by what 11, 12, or something like that. So it's just still, we, we, there's always room to improve. So, uh, we can't when we get a 20 point lead, we can't relax and let them hit shots and come down and get stops. So um, like I said, we just got to watch film and be better next time. Thanks.